Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with CF Ninja Hacks, and in this video, we're going to take a look at what I think is the best way to get your membership set up so that it works best in mobile. The biggest problem with the membership sites is when you go into your mobile device, and I have my iMac on the uh, right-hand side here. When you go into the mobile device, what you're going to see is that the um, the lessons are at the top, and especially if you got a whole bunch of really long lessons, you got to scroll down to to get to the lesson below it, uh, the actual content below it, and then you got to scroll back up, and then you click on the next lesson that you want, and then you got to scroll back down. And actually, in this case here, for some reason, it made it disappear. I guess maybe it made it disappear because there's no content actually in those lessons, um, which is fine. But what we want to do is we want to switch this around so that the content itself is at the top of the page, and that the uh, the lessons, the navigation is at the bottom of the page. And then when you click on the navigation, what it'll do is it'll scroll you back up to the top so you can easily be able to see the content. So let's take a look at that. And I have a membership site set up here, again, with a bunch of apparently blank uh, lessons in here. I didn't realize they were blank until right now. But let's go into the editor. And this is normally what you're going to see in the editor. You got your header, a footer, you got a two column row, and normally you're going to have your navigation on the left and your content on the right. So let's just click on this here, add a new element. And so you got your navigation element right here. And then the other one uh, that we would put in, of course, would be our content element as well. I'll just put that in real quickly. And so our content element would go right down here. So I'm going to take both of these back out because we obviously we don't need two of them in there. Okay, there we go. So now we have one of each. And let me just give you a little caveat here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end up eventually um, duplicating this or cloning this section, this uh, the content element, but the navigation element, you can only have one on a page. So you can have one navigation element on the page, but you can have as many content elements as you want. So what we want to do is we want to create a new row and put it above here. So let's just come down to the bottom and click on the plus sign. We will grab a hold of a one column row and we will drag it over and drop it right there. And then we will click on this, we'll add a new element, and we're going to make that a content element that will go right up here at the top. Now you're going to see it's going to be really big, and that's, that's fine. That's no big problem that it's going to be big. But what we need to do next is we need to say that we want this only to be in here for mobile. And what I actually want to do is make the entire row up here only for mobile. So we'll click on the settings of the row. We'll come down and we'll say this will be mobile only, which then always kicks you into the mobile view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change the name of this to mobile content. Just so if I'm looking at it later, I know what it's going to be. So now let's go back into our desktop view and you're going to see that row is now completely gone. And now over here, we have to keep this row because we have the navigation element in it. But what we need to do is take this element, this content element, and we're going to click on this and we are going to make this desktop only. And then let's go in here and we will name this to desktop content. So there's absolutely no confusion. And so then it says desktop only. And if we come over here to mobile, this row will say mobile only. We will have our navigation element for this says mobile only really shouldn't that should be for everything, but you're going to see that the desktop content is not there. So we're good to go here. And so let's save this. And then let's go into the site itself and you'll see that it should still be all set up properly here for our desktop. And it is. And let me just see here. Yeah, I uh, cloned in a bunch of lessons apparently that had no content in them. So now let's go over to our mobile and I got to pick up my phone in order to do this. And we will reload this page. And now again, what should happen is that the content section, okay, that ended up at the top. So the content element is at the top. And then we're going to scroll down here. And we have our lessons at the bottom. 
and we can open up these sections like this or open up those uh, lessons, I should say. And then of course you have this button here and you can toggle that open and close to open and close the lessons if you so choose. And now we have one more thing we still have to do because when I click here and I say go to lesson one, what we want it to do is to scroll back up to the top so that the lesson ends up right there like that. So let's go back into our code. We're gonna go into our tracking code and I already have the code in here. I just need to uh, uncomment it so that, that it becomes visible or it actually starts to work on the page. And so here it is. And what it says is anytime anybody clicks on any lesson link, so it's a click function. So anytime anybody clicks on the lesson link, it's going to animate the page and it's going to scroll to the top and it's going to scroll to the top of this section right here, but I haven't put that in yet. So what we have to do is we got to go back into our thing and we're going to go to our row. We're going to manage our row and we're going to go to that row that we called mobile content. It's right here. We're going to open that up, come down to the hashtag. We're going to grab out that CSS ID selector. Going to close that, go back into our tracking code. And we're going to paste that in between the quotes. So now we have our row in here. So what it'll do is it will scroll to the top of the row and it'll take about half a second to get there. 500 milliseconds is half a second. So we will click on save. We will go back to our phone and we will reload the page. And now we will scroll down to the bottom. And what's going to happen here, well, I, let me grab one of these here at the top. These should have content in them. And that should bring us right back up to the top of this here. I didn't say le lesson on that one. But here we go. It goes right back to the top of the page. And it works like a charm every time. And there we go. And so that's it. Uh, just simply moving a couple of elements around, basically duplicating the content element and then putting in that little bit of tracking code in order to get it to roll to the top after you click on the lesson. So that's it for today. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.